Hello friends, welcome back to Civil 3D Pro Tips and Tips YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how we can apply automatic widening or manual widening. As you can see on my screen, I have alignment which has a radius uh, 90 and the 180 and I need to apply the automatic widening on it. Uh, first, that automatic widening is apply only for the small curves. As you can see, I have a, uh, here a screenshot of one of the code. Uh, it's uh, IRC73. And as you can see, the value over here, that up to 20 to 60 radius. Uh, the widening will be required 1.2 meter. And then from 80 to 100, widening will require 0.9 and so on. And you can see the widening is required only for uh, up to 300 radius. Well, these values change as per your country standard if you are uh, using AFSO or DMRB or another code, uh, those values are different. You can always change this value and you can add it on the file. I will show you where the file is. So let's apply the automatic binding. So for that you need to select the alignment and then you get this ribbon bar where you can select the offset alignment. In offset alignment, what you need to do, you need to apply your uh, standard lean width. So I'm applying 3.5, 3.5, and then go to the widening criteria. Here you can select add widening around the curve, and then you can select uh, your standard. So I'm selecting here, it asking me select the criteria file, and I go to, I have various criteria, I'll select Indian metric road design standard, and click open. Now here it is saying widening method IC73 which I have just shown you. Now you can apply widening on both inside only or outside only or both side. I'll select both side and other things are let it be. Uh, here I have a normal lane width. I will apply 3.5. And here it is saying that it will be apply widening on the hundred uh, percent on the spiral for spiral curve region and for the tangent it will be a, a one third and just click OK and it's done so now let's measure so you can see that we apply 3.5 vertical lane width and now the lane width is here 7.9 so it's a 0.9 widening for a 90 meter radius as we have seen here 90 meter radius is 0.9 meter widening and it is applied on both sides so it will be half on this side and half on the other side you can see it's 0.45 on this side and 0.45 and if we can measure the normal lane over here 7.33 let's measure on another curve let's see what widening apply here and it is 7.6 so you can see that the different widening is applied for the both uh, different radius now another thing you can also check this widening you can go in offset parameter and you can see what widening is applied so here all the criteria has given from which station the widening start and which station it is end. What is the length for where you apply the widening? You can also see the how it uh, widening it applies. So apply one is to five taper these things. So this is the automatic widening. Now let's apply the manual widening. So what I'll do? I go and select Control Z. Okay, now let's go back. Uh, this time we apply manual widening. So I'm going to uh, again offset alignment. Let's normal lane width. Go to widening criteria. Select add widening. But this time we are select widening manually. So how much you want to increase the width? You can select inside and outside only. So I select both sides. I want to increase the width 
0.45 and the transition will be 20 meter and click OK. So just go and you can see again the winding is applied. Okay, so this way you can apply manual widening and here you can change again go to the offset parameter and you can see all the values so this is automatic widening manual widening now the third method i will show you you can apply the widening after creating your offset alignment so what i do this time i go and create offset alignment this time i don't give any widening Just click OK. Once you do, select your offset alignment, and here also there is add widening, add automatic widening. So once you create the alignment, uh, offset alignment, after that also you can uh, provide the widening. I go with the add widening. It asking me create widening portion as a new alignment. Let's say no. Now it is asking me station from where your widening starts. So widening always be apply on the full uh, curve so i select widening from this station to this station so it's this station it will be a full widening so click ok now it's asking me add widening offset so let's offset is uh, your normal lane width plus your widening on the one side so for 90 radius it is 0.45 on one side so 3.95 and ok and it's done so you can get the value over here here you can play with you can change this ratio and everything and also you can change the length of your widening it's required so you can see already is 50 meter instead of 50 I can go for 30 meter so you can play with this value you can change your station let's say 35 or 145 all right so in this method you can play with your widening parameters from where you apply where you you can always change your offset value and everything so this is another third method for our applying widening where you can play with those standards and everything you can apply different type of widening treatment or uh, linear curve line curve depending on your geometries so thank you thanks for watching the video hope this will be helpful